and good day to all of you. Welcome to the new lecture series. In this lecture or in this video, we are going to discuss about the maps, a little bit history of the maps, as well as we will look at the Google map versus Google Earth, which was, which one is a true projection of our Earth. So there are some learning outcomes for this video. So we'll look at the map and you will also learn about the history of the map. Then we will look at two projection, which is a very popular projection in all over the world, which is Mercator projection. And the second one is Peter's projection. We will discuss which one is correct and which one is incorrect projection of the world map. Then we will also look at the orthograph map, which is a newly introduced map from Japan. And there will be some hands-on exercise. What are the true projection and what are the wrong projection in the sense of visual interpretation of the maps. So let's start with the introduction. So if you look at the maps definition in Google map, so a map is a diagrammatic representation of an area of land or it can be projection of a sea which showing the physical features such as cities, roads and etc. But obviously when we are talking about in the sense of geophysics, so we have to look at the geophysical features of the earth such as terrain and subsurface with the seismic and other things. If you look at the Cambridge Dictionary about the maps, so it says it is a drawing of the earth subsurface or a part of that surface which shows the different shape and position of the different countries such as if you're talking about the geographical borders of the countries natural features such as um, terrain features or vegeta vegetation area or this type of things is actually comes into the map and also sometimes we are looking at the rivers mountains and also some artificial features such as road and buildings so that is actually the definition or everything comes into the map and the gridding is actually when we divide these maps into different lat long x y so these will be called the gridding of these maps for example we have a map of the world let's say if we have the map of paris which shows a different artificial features of the paris sometimes we have the road maps and obviously which we are using the google map in our phone our laptops in our tablets so that's our actually combination of all these features so if you go into the back to your young life or in your school life so you must have seen this map on your classroom wall for me i have seen this map in my classroom wall so this is actually the world map which appears to be like this and we have studied in our high school and in our kindergarten so all all the way we are looking at this map since 2000 or before that until we don't have the access of the advanced technology so in this map actually this is the actual map of the marketer's projection we will discuss what what are the flaws in this maps are and what are the things which are missing and which we need to highlight so a simple concept by visualization this map so it appears like we can see the greenland is quite huge canada is one of the bigger country in this map and russia also looks like this one so these are some things which we are going to discuss but not politically but just for the graphical representation so we will look at the mercator projection what is actually mercator projection so before that we look at the history of the maps so 
The first map which was introduced in 6th century before crisis map. So it was on a store. So you can see the maps looks like this one and they have given the projection. But we look at when we look at the early or the middle age of the light, then the maps was projected in a two circle paper. Actually, it was a one paper, but in two circular paper. So in that it has divided half part of the world on to the right and left is the other part of the world. So over here we can see the Africa, Asia and over here we have the America, North and South America on that side. So with the evolution of time, obviously the maps comes into the papers which we have look at. So we are not going more into detail, but just this is the first map and in, it's in, in the middle age. Okay, so let's look at the Mercator map. So this map was actually introduced in 1569 by Giradus Mercators. And this map actually was used as a navigational tool for traveling because all the travels on that time was through the ocean and sea. So this map was a, a great help for people who are traveling through the through the sea and ocean. So they have they can find out the way. So with this tool, actually in this map we have all the longitude and latitude lines are parallel. Okay, this, this map has some flaws, such as the first one is North and South America. So you can see the North America looks quite bigger than the South America, but in actual, it is almost equal. And the second flaws of this map is the Greenland and Africa. So you see in over here, the Greenland, which is on the top, is looks bigger or almost similar in size to the Africa but in actual the Greenland is 14 times smaller than Africa so Africa is a bigger 14 times bigger than Greenland so that one we will do I mean uh, during the hands-on practice we will calculate the area and then it will be proven to you and the another flaws is Madagascar is bigger than UK so in here if you look at the UK, which is over here, and Madagascar is here. So, actually Madagascar is bigger than UK, but in this map, it appears to be equal. And actually, in real, it is double than UK area. So, what happened? What was the flaws of this map? The countries or the object which was near to the equator remains on the same size, but away from the equator, because of the stretching of the globe, it become bigger. And Antarctica is also not that big. So now we we'll look at the real projection, which is considered as a Peter projection. So in 1973, the Arno Peters actually announced the new map, which was a German historical. So he introduced a new map which called the Peters projection and that treated each country fairly and represent their area more accurately. So in this map you can see the Africa, just looking at the Africa because it is it's a quite big object. So the Africa is actually 14 times bigger than Greenland which I have mentioned in the previous slide. So this appears true projection, but if you go into the, this map, the Africa looks equal to this one, the green line. So in Peter projection uh, map, we, he uses the rectangular coordinate system that shows parallel line, parallel line of latitude and longitude as well. The another graph which was introduced recently which is called a graph map so this was actually made by dividing a spherical surface into 96 triangular triangles and then the trans transferring it into tetrahedron while keeping the area of proportion a graph is a global 
map projection of equal area type and it is the benefit is that you can place in each direction because it's a uh, triangular shape projection so it was designed in 1999 by a japanese architect Hajimi Narukawa his name was so what he does he actually maintained the size of all continent and ocean while reducing the distortion of the shape in the same way and also this map has no seam and may be tilted in any direction so that's the benefit of this map so how does it look like so you can see this one is actually the orthograph author map so over here you can see uh, this is actually your equator line and over here you have your asia russia australia so south america and north america so in in this map it is the actual projection but obviously it does not have the parallel latitude and longitude lines so now we look at the hands-on exercise peter's projection and what was the marketer projection So now looking at to, at the map, which is your Google map. So over here also you can see the map which we use in our phone as well as for the direction toward any destination. So that also use the Peters projection. So this is actually Google map and just to give a quick look. So you can look at the Africa, which is this one. And it appears to be similar than similar to the Greenland. And over here, you can see the Madagascar appears to be equal or maybe smaller than UK. But in actual, it is double than UK. That one we are going to do. And even if you have this Google map in in satellite view it is the same performance it gives so it does not make a sense that everything which appears on your hand i mean in your mobile is not the actual representation but obviously the area calculation is okay but once you use the google maps for for traveling or other things that is okay but the visual representation is not accurate so let's moving to the software which is google map so this is actually an interface of google map which is based on peters projection or peters uses this same projection as we have in the google map so let's look at the uh, africa this is your africa and here is your Madagascar, which is over here. So let's draw the polygon. So let me take the polygon like this one. So I'm going to take the polygon of Madagascar as well as the calculate the area of this. Uh, of this map so now I have already taken the polygon and I will name it as Madagascar Poly so it comes in here Madagascar Poly then I will move to the UK take another polygon
So now I have taken this two polygon, which is Madagascar polygon and UK polygon. So let me take a property of this two. So once you're done, so you can have the axis of this both poly polygons, which is Madagascar poly and UK polygon. So let's bring the properties of this polygon into our slides. So which is here, so you can see the slides shows that the measurement we have calculated here. So the area, if you look at the Madagascar polygon, which is almost 600, uh, 600,000 square kilometer. But in the other hand, the UK area is 275 square kilometer. But just to make you confirm, you can Google it. So you can go into your page. Area of Madagascar area of UK. So over here you can see this is the area of UK which is 242 square kilometer. So we are roughly equal to that one because we are considering the land area and sea area. And if you look at the area of Madagascar which is 587. So it's double than UK area but in Peter's projection, which is over here, it appears to be half. Huh. So this is a summary of this lecture. So on the left side, you have the Mercator projection and on the right side is a Peter's projection. So which one is correct? Now you can decide. So I hope you have liked this um, video lecture and keep tuned to the channel and try to subscribe this channel and if you like this video and let us know if you have any question thank you so much and have a good day